Hi everybody, I'm Peter Taraka, Manager of Aircraft Restoration at the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. Today we're installing a replica bomb load on the underside of Sky Raider on these hard points, which are places on the airframe where the internal structure has been reinforced to handle the external loads. The fact that Sky Raider was equipped with no less than 15 of these hard points helps to illustrate its awesome load carrying capabilities. Our Sky Raider was missing all of its original uh, bomb release hardware from both the left and right uh, wing hard points. So Rosie and I engineered a uh, bomb support system that is uh, both strong enough and authentic in appearance, uh, but most importantly, uh, reversible. Uh, none of the uh, original structure was altered in any way to install this and it can be easily removed. Fortunately for us, these replica bombs weigh only approximately 10% of what the original bombs weigh. And here we are on the other side of the airplane and as you can see, this, uh, this side is much further along. Uh, the fairings are all installed and, and closed on that structure that I showed you on the other side. So all of that will be hidden from view. And all I need to do to complete this side is install uh, bomb stays in four places. This is a bomb stay. And all this does, this threads into this spot and just locks the bomb in place so it doesn't wiggle around during flight. The fuselage centerline hardpoint was a different story. In this hardpoint, there's a substantially more complex mechanism involved. These parts release the bomb, just like on the wing hardpoints, but there's assemb an assembly inside the fuselage that simultaneously, as the bomb is being released, this foot, uh, by the action of a powerful spring, pushes the bomb away from the aircraft to minimize the possibility of collision with other parts of the airplane. For instance, the dive brake behind me. I initially thought that this bomb ejector was uh, corroded beyond resuscitation, but Rosie removed this uh, assembly from the Sky Raider and disassembled the bomb ejector completely on the bench, cleaned, lubricated, reassembled it, then reinstalled it in the fuselage, and now everything is usable again, just like the original. Originally, these claws were uh, clamped shut, and uh, I didn't think we could even get them open again. Uh, and not only did uh, uh, Rosie get them to open, but now they operate uh, the way they were originally intended to operate. And we figured out that we can simply pick up this bomb and uh, press the hooks into this and these uh, will, through spring action, clamp down on it and no additional work is required. I was uh, originally trying to get a hold of uh, actual deactivated uh, uh, bombs for this uh, installation. Uh, but my wife told me that perhaps I should stop uh, sending out emails to people asking them if they had any bombs I could use. Uh, so we, we sourced these from uh, a supplier who produces replica bombs specifically for this purpose. Uh, it's a place called uh, bombsaway.us. Check out its website. You ready? Yep. All right. All right. You want to pick this up? And yeah. This yeah. Oh, man. Right. Voila! So there you have it. The bombs are installed and yet another uh, project is completed on Sky Raider. There's a lot more to go, so stay tuned. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.